Welcome here to ECTV as we are joined alongside by Chef Louis Segura here at the Culinary Arts Program at East Chicago Central. Chef Louis, thank you very much for your time. Let's talk about what you have going on. It's been a while since we've seen you, but again, you guys continue to move forward every single year. Um, this year, last year was 60, the year before it was 15, this year it's 80. Next year I got 400 kids trying to get in the class. 400 kids? 400 kids. I have to interview the kids next year to screen out the ones that just want to just eat and pick the ones that are really serious about culinary. The CT program here at East Chicago Central is grown by leaps and bounds. Um, just continues to get better. This is my two hour advanced class. Remember last year we talked about taking these kids to the next level. As a matter of fact, I just can't, got back from Mexico Tuesday and while I was gone, they wanted me to cater a party uh, for 100 seniors. And I said, yes, I'll do it. But it was on a Tuesday and I was leaving that Sunday. So I looked at my kids and I'm like, are you ready? You know, I wanted to see if what I've taught them has made a difference in their lives and how they cook. They totally, it was an excellent, excellent, I couldn't believe what, when I got back, everybody was like, it was fantastic what they did and they did it without me. Really? So they did it all on their own? Everything on their own. I wasn't even here. I was out of the country. They did it all on their own and they knocked it out the park. That's fantastic. Now tell us about what's going on today. I know that you have someone from one of the culinary schools within Chicago that have really made a great, that they have a great history of producing top level chefs all over the Chicago land area and throughout the entire country. Let's talk about who you have in today. I have Chef Ashley from the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, they came in a couple months ago and they wanted to uh, come in and talk to some of my kids. So uh, she came in and she's doing a demonstration of, uh, she's making bruschetta, she's making ricotta cheese from scratch. She's a very talented chef. She, uh, the Art Institute just isn't about culinary, it's also about fashion, web design, uh, the kids that are especially into like uh, video games, they have a video games graphic. Uh, design department. Right, so it's, you know, it, I just, I, I really wanna give back to the kids and one thing that's, that why I love doing what I'm doing is because, see, a lot of kids, they think they want to go into college into something until they get there and find out how hard it is. Some people want to become nurses, and then they find out how much work it is. And then, so the problem, what we're trying to do is avoid kids from going to college, taking out them student loans, then dropping out, and you know how much student loans are. Now they're not fun. And then you have to pay that back even if you don't finish school. So what we're trying to do here is give them a little taste of what this is all about, if they like it, then they go on to the next step, and that's where she comes in to come in and tell them, you know, come to our school, fantastic school. Everything's going real great, um, Ray. Um, I love what I'm doing. Let's talk about how the kids are responding to her. I mean, I know they, they respond to you very well, which is why you may have, you have a lot of kids, 80 kids, which is the highest that it's ever been in this program. But how are the kids responding? And this is kind of like a seminar, so to speak, correct? Like I've always said, you know, we get a bad rap about the kids here at East Chicago Central, but we have some fantastic kids here. Uh, all year, I haven't had one problem with one student. Do they pay attention to me? That's the way I've, I want to say that's the way I raise them. That's what I taught them. Treat everybody with respect. It's brushing off on them. I can't be happier about what I'm doing right now. I mean, I could go and make more money doing another job, but I'm really enjoying teaching these kids. And if one kid comes out here becoming a chef but knowing that I influenced them then I think I did my job. Well I think it's it's clear that the proof is in the pudding if your students are able to cater a party of over 100 seniors by themselves on their own accord and work together as a unit that speaks volumes. I would I when I was in, I kept calling them from Mexico I was calling them uh don't forget to do that don't and I have chef friends in Chicago I mean in Mexico and they uh they said uh stop calling them so much and I'm like what do you mean stop calling them so much they're like do you trust them? Stop treating them like babies. Let them do. If you taught them well, because if I keep calling them, then they're going to feel like chef doesn't believe in us. So I didn't call them. I told them I was going to call them on Tuesday. I just I waited till they were done. When I called, um, I spoke to uh, Mr. Lane. I spoke to Mrs. Drayton and knocked it out the park. I was, couldn't, I was just so happy that it makes me feel good that, I, that I've taught them well. They did it all on their own. I was out of the country. They did it all on their own. So... So what's on the agenda for today, Chef Louis? What are we making and what are we going to see put together here today? Um, we're making enchiladas today. I just got back from Mexico, so I want to do some. To throw the, uh, yeah, the Mexican feel into it. Green salsa, um, some green salsa um, enchiladas stuffed with chicken, creme fraiche on the top. Um, we're going to make frijoles borrachos. 
without the beer, of course. But uh, you don't <laughs> yeah, want to. Don't give me intro. Nah, no, no, not at all. Give me in trouble. <laughs> nah. uh, you know, it's just uh, beans with uh, chicken stock. I'm using uh, smoked turkey, bacon, uh, cilantro, onions. Just, you know, I just wanted to come back and uh, just give them something that I learned. Because when I was out there, I was also studying and learning stuff out there. I, I, when I go to Mexico, I go and I study with this older Indian lady. She teaches me how to do stuff from scratch. Pretty soon they don't know, but we're going to do mole. We're really? No one, kidding. With the 27 ingredients. They don't even know yet. These kids love this class, and I love teaching them. I, like I said, Ray, this is a joy for me. Next year it's going to get bigger and better. And matter of fact, we're taking the kids to go check out a competition in Kendall College in Chicago and then uh, give them a taste of what it's about and then hopefully – take them down to Indianapolis this year to compete. I want to see you. So, know, so this year in Indianapolis, you're planning on taking this culinary program down there to compete at the highest level on the state level. I wasn't, I, did, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but now seeing what they did without me, they're ready. You know, it, it, but it, it's a whole lot more than just the cooking aspect. It's, um, they got a present a menu, debone it. It's a big, big thing. So it's a vast undertaking. Matter of fact, it might be a good idea. Maybe we could go, we could go check that out together. Take the camera crew down there and show them what it's about. I don't know. We'll see. We'll talk. Certainly. No, no doubt about it. Chef Louie, you're doing a great job. We look forward to seeing and trying yeah. your enchiladas today. We look forward to seeing that come to fruition. Congratulations to you, and we look forward to seeing what the culinary program has to produce. Thanks, Ray. You're Chef Louis Segura joining us here on ECTV. Don't move a muscle. We'll be back with more here and only on ECTV. All right, let me run you down what we're going to do today. I'm making frijoles borrachos, like I said, without the beer. Uh, we have... Uh, the, la the two young ladies over there making the salsa for the enchiladas from scratch. We're roasting off. You saw the video. They're roasting off tomatillos, poblano peppers, jalapenos. We're going to put some onion in it, salt and pepper, cumin, oregano. We're going to make the sauce from scratch. Real chefs we do it from scratch, not out of a can. Uh, and... Uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna do is get the tortillas, put them in the sauce, stuff them with some chicken, put some uh, Wajio cheese on the top, some uh, Monterey Jack cheese on there, some uh, seasoned, uh, some seasoned Oaxaca cheese like this, enchilado, and we're gonna pop them in the oven and we're gonna show you guys how to make some real authentic enchiladas with a green salsa, all right? But right here what I'm doing is I'm just dicing up some, uh, some beets, and I'm going to uh, put some uh, cucumbers, salt, pepper, a uh, little bit of onion. It's just like a real, I, I seen this done in Mexico, it's so healthy. The one thing that happens is the beet bleeds over into all the, into all of the, uh, the cucumbers, so it all turns real red. But this is very good for your blood. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of vitamins and minerals. I love beets, I love to roast them off. We had somebody cutting on the cutting board right now that had a little bit of an accident. But, hey, that's the life of a chef. Like I tell my students, if you're not prepared to get cut or burnt, you're in the wrong business. Yeah, well, that's enough right there. Okay. Beet? We're going to put some... Oh, yeah. Then they're not... Not just that, Ray, but it's also, like I said, I like to not just make food that's good. I like to make stuff that's nutritious for you. And this is something they've never had. So what I'll do is I'll sneak the scissors at the side. Then they'll eat it. Then they'll get turned on the beets. Because, you know, when we were young, we didn't eat vegetables. Let's just be real. But now, like I said, I wasted most of my life not eating uh, spinach, uh, bell peppers, uh, and we waste, I wasted a whole long time of my life not eating the stuff that makes you live a long time. I mean, I want to live to be 80, 90, you know, and eating all that fried food and all that stuff, all them chili cheese Fritos and all that stuff, that ain't no good for you. So, so right now what we'll do is after I'm done doing this, I'm going to start sauteing off some onions right here. Y'all come over here and check this out now. Here we go, right here. All right. All right. All right, hey, bring me them tomatoes. Bring me a handful of tomatoes. Oh, it's in there, it's in there right there. No, cut up, okay? Okay, dump them in there. Yeah, the whole thing. 
Well, shit. Nice job on these tomatoes. Oh. Some roasted garlic. Some lime juice. Give me a towel. Let me tell her. Towel. Thank you, sir. Right here's gonna be a little cumin, comino, and some oregano. What you should do with dry ingredients is when you get them, don't just toss them in like this. What you want to do is crush them in there to let the oils out to get a little flavor from them, all right? A lot of people just like to grab them and throw them in there. You're not doing it any good. What you're trying to do is just make sure you release all the oils into the stuff, okay? Bring that bacon over here. Start dumping that bacon inside. These are the frijoles borrachos right here. Like I said, I added some, uh, some smoked uh, turkey tails better than pork, but I'm still adding some bacon. You know, like they said, what tastes better with bacon? More bacon. Go ahead, break them up. Break them up. What? Here, I got you. At the end, we'll add some fresh cilantro to them. Emmy, okay, she's got it. All right, hey, come on, stop pureeing, yeah? All right. What are you doing here, Louis? You're adding bacon to? Uh... Bacon, uh, the beans, the smoked turkey tails. Uh, I'm about to add all these tomatoes and onions and stuff in there. This is done. We don't want to overdo this because it's still going to stay in the... Right now, we'll take you over there where the girls are putting together. You know what? As a matter of fact, Shay, hold this for him. Hold this for him. Then when you're done with that, dump all this in there, okay? You know, as a matter of fact, here I go. All right? Wait a minute. Okay. Move it around. Okay. Yeah, come on. Now, now Chef Louis, what are, what are we, is this the actual, uh, the homemade salsa? This is the homemade salsa. They roasted off the tomatillos uh -huh. on top of the, we had. Now, for those that don't know, what are tomatillos? It's a green uh, tomato. It's um, a little bit bitter than a, than a regular tomato. Um, to be honest with you, the, you usually see enchiladas with red sauce. Uh -huh. But I like to take these kids and show them different stuff. Um, not only does it look more appealing, but it, it gives it a better taste. Um, it's just a big, these are huge. I've never seen them this big. Usually you find them, they're little, little balls like this. These are humongous. Can you get the tomatillo at your local supermarket? You can get it at any, you, I've got these at Strax. You can find that anywhere now. Okay. You can find them anywhere, yeah. And now what they're doing is they're putting it into a... A food processor. A food processor. Yeah, and what they're doing is they're just they're mashing, it, mashing up. it up. Right now what they're gonna do is we're gonna see the consistency of it. They'll probably add some olive oil. Right now I want uh, Yahira to go in the back and grab some cilantro.